get ready for college hoops on 2K Sports. The North Carolina AMT Aggies go up against the Maryland Baltimore County Retrievers. Welcome, college hoop fans, to round two of the NCAA tournament. We're here in Anaheim, California. Alongside Bill Raftery, this is Vern Lundquist. Tracy Wilson is with us, too. Give us your take, Bill. I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Raftery is a top-notch power forward. He has lightning quick hands and terrific anticipation. He'll rack up a ton of steals. Turner is also a fabulous power forward. it off. Dishes it to the strike. Matthew Turner. Hunter inbounds the ball. And it's scooped up by Daniels. Takes the shot. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Throws it up. Knocks down the first one. Daniel lets it go. He gets them both. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson. He has some info for us. Guys, earlier today I caught up with the Retrievers coach. He's aware that they're not going to get any free passes, and he said he told his players as hard as they had to work for a win in the regular season, they're going to have to work twice as hard here in the tournament. They handled the first round well, and he wants to see them work even harder here in the second round. Thank you, Tracy. Unbelievable range from downtown. Big men, they practice those threes nowadays. A lot of it comes from the European basketball influence. Crosses it up. The three-point attempt missed by Turner. But they still lead by three. Hunter passes it to the wing. Hodger gets it. Left side. Barbosa goes up. Gets the finger roll before. He's got two. Launches one from beyond the arc. The shot was knocked down by Rush. And they're up by four. Swing pass. Right wing. Nice and crossing. empty from the line one on one Daniel takes a three the combo snatches it down inside that offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident he knew right where to be Johnson inbounds the ball Barbosa downtown Drops. They draw to within three. Puts it up. Tried to answer back with a three, but it's missed by Turner. They still have a three-point lead. Not close, but it's recovered by Hodger. Johnson snatches the offensive rebound. Johnson. Put up and in on that last layup. This fella is a fantastic offensive player, Vern. That kind of defense just isn't going to cut it against him. About 17 and a half minutes left in the half. The steal by North Carolina AMT. Daniel with the shot. Wilson corrals the miss inside. Turner kicks it out to the perimeter. The last play is cast in by Daniels. Daniel has done it. My goodness. He's the new single season scoring champion in the history of the NCAA. This young man has done something a lot of us thought was not even possible. None of these people here will ever forget this. This record is going to stand for a long time, Vern. Last tray off the mark by Rush. The Retrievers and even the score of the loop. Raptor went after that rebound hard. Great work. Last basket is made by Hodges. Pull 
pulls the trigger. The tray was missed by Daniels. And it's still not up 50. Beats it to the wing. Hooked away. The Retrievers were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. Turner inbounds the ball. They're set up in minimum. Rocky drops it in from beyond the arc. He's two for four from downtown. Hook loose. But it's recovered by Marion Baltimore County. The last layup is dropped in by Proctor. Gotta love it. Beautiful little finger roll. Great extension above the tall tree. Rush passes it up court. About 15 and a half minutes left in the half. Last shot dropped in by Barbosa. Great defensive play leads to a quick bucket. Aggressive D like that can shift momentum on you in a hurry. That last three-pointer was missed by Rush. Number 42. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. North Carolina AMT has been on the wrong side of this long run. And Tracy's got a report for us. The head coach is not at all happy with the drought they're going for it and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. Thanks, Tracy. And it's a five-point game. You might have been thrown up by how wide open it was. Hodger, off balance shot. Matumbo gets the board inside. Shoots it. With nobody around, he still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. But they're still behind by two. Knocks it loose. And it's gathered up by Daniels. Dunks it down on the break of him. It's all tied up. Number 42 inbounds the ball. Just over 14 minutes left in the half. Leads him with the pass. Nice touch in the lane by Johnson. And they're now out in front by two. Wilson from deep hits it. They now lead by one. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by North Carolina AMT. North Carolina AMT is subbing a whole different group in. Carolina AMT. The finisher. Grabbed inside by Hodges. Hodges did a good job to grab that game out. Perfect position that time. Hodges. Nelson throws it out and misses. What was that all about? About 13 and a half minutes left in the half. That's exactly the shot they want to take on. With the floater. Was good by Barbosa. They're up 29 to 26. What a pass. Oh, Jones, Jones gently drops it in. They're now behind by one. Barbosa brings it up the floor. Number 42 catches it left wing. Picks it up. Jones grabs the rock. But they're still up by one. Nelson shoots it. Comes up empty from 20 feet out. He can live with that miss. He's open. He knows that he can make it more often than not. Takes it up. What a pretty assist in the play by Hodges. He's got 13. Nelson from way outside. Johnson grabs it, and that's his fifth rebound in this one. Feeds right wing. Johnson. Slides in with a soft finger. They're out in front by Fong. Puts it up. Reeled in by Shepard. Gets it. Top of the key. Last tray off the mark by Jones. North Carolina AMT has been on the losing end of the rebound battle. And Tracy is near their bench with a report. The head coach just told his assistants if we have to defend with five guys in the paint, then let's 
do it, but I'm getting very tired of seeing us getting killed on the boards. That sent them scrambling to the chalkboard, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Well, you can't afford to spot the OT any more points from They're in danger of letting this game be over before the second half. Hodger passes it to the wing. Number 42, the crossover. They've been on fire, Vern. What a way to start. Jones unloads. Can't put an end to the run. Just over 11 minutes left in the half. Stolen away by Chaplin. Fires. A three-pointer hit by Ewing. They've got it within seven. We're going to apply some pressure here and with full court. Johnson inbounds the ball. Hodge at the controls. Puts it in for two. And they're now up by seven. Ewing ends it off. Nelson releases. Nelson gets it to go from way downtown. He's one for four from three-point range. Goes up, throws it down. But they're still behind by two. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is what I love college basketball. Maryland, BC. They'll take his first time. North Carolina A&T coach has a new lineup that isn't extremely experienced. This could have an effect on the team's chemistry. Let's see. Hooker inbounds the ball. Right wing. Dumps it down low. Johnson. North Carolina A&T is really struggling to close down the middle. Tracy has something for us. Tracy? The head coach just told the players on the bench we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like you'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. All right, Tracy. Jones pulls it in off the glass. Don't put anything weak up like that. I'm sure his coach will be telling him that. Nice touch on that last lead by Daniels. Hook loose. It's a two-point deflection. The team took too much time to set up, and it sure cost them. Stolen by North Carolina e and He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and when he got the chance, he pounced for the steal. Just over nine minutes left in the half. Crosses it over. Chaplin inbounds the ball. Shoots a three. Three by Hernandez. They're now up by three. Hodges brings it up. Maryland BC calls time. Pulls it in. This guy can use him in finishing traffic, but the D was too good, even Jones. for him on that one. Nice move in the paint on that last shot by Jones. Maryland BC is really strong. McKnight uses the crossover. Another win. He was more worried about scoring than had the ball marked. That's why he's a squeezy young fellow. Maryland BC is shooting itself in the foot with all the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The retrievers coach is not sure we're getting the issue he told his assistant. 
assistance are fundamentals are abysmal. And then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. All right, Tracy. And it's a big point there. Unusually prolific rebound for an off -court. It creates additional opportunities for him and his teammates. Coaches love a guy with an all-around game. Raises up. Not the guy you want taking that shot, but it was hit by Hernandez. He's shooting 100% from downtown. Maryland, B.C. calls time. Substitution. The Retrievers will make some substitutions. to the rim. Couldn't make it a double-digit lead on the miss by Shepard. They still have a seven-point lead. And it's scooped up by Shepard. Daniel takes it up. Jams it in two-handed. They're ahead, 57 to 48. And there's seven minutes left in the half. The steal by Daniels goes up. Catching the break with a tremendous jam. He's got 17. We're going to stick with them all the way up the floor in the full court. And a Pass. Corner. Nice touch on that last read by Barbosa. Everybody in the arena could see that coming. Except the defense, apparently. Last ray off the mark by Hernandez. The Retrievers with some difficulties. They'll give him that one every day of the week. Way out of his range. Has it. By post. Shepard inbounds the ball. With the shot. That's not his shot. No surprise it was missed by Hernandez. But they're still out in front by six. Tipped away. But it's recovered by Hodges. The Retrievers will retain possession. Substitution is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. They got on this roll a while ago and just haven't looked back. No good on the three by Hernandez. They've still got a four-point lead. Outright. Bounces it to the right wing. Hodge gets the ball. Hodge And they're now behind by one. Hernandez from long range. Hunter boxes out and grabs the rebound. And it's scooped up by Daniels. Again, he's making big plays on defense to help his ball play. What cagey instincts on the defensive end. Hodger with the crossover. Big time rejection. It seems like nothing can destroy this guy, but he will destroy you in a heartbeat. Misfired on that last three. Five Daniel. Looks great. And it's controlled by North Carolina a &T. Great anticipation and quick hand. It's a deuce the other way if you don't protect the basketball. The Retrievers looking to continue their run. He just exploded off the floor to time that block. Two. Wonderful anticipation by the defender. Both teams making a few lineup changes. Substitution on the court. Make those substitutions all knotted up. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Coleman inbounds the ball. Puts up a three. Grabbed by Proctor. The Retrievers can take their first lead in a long time with a basket here. The Retrievers will get this one back. Over from the weak side like that, that's what you call great help defense. Daniel stepped back over the midcourt line there, and that's an over and back violation. He just lost track of where he was on the floor, Ver. You have to be able to dribble with your head up, or things like this happen. Number 42. That last shot offline from 20. 
big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. To end the drought, Barry by Daniels. They're up by three. Under four minutes left in the half. Johnson gets it in the low That last 14-footer was no good. Hernandez takes the shot. Can't connect on the quick shot. But they're still out in front by three. Bounce pass inside. Pulled in by Mutombo. That's his fourth rebound thus far. Hernandez shoots. Misses the long one. They still have a three-point lead. Johnson. Up the mark thanks to the tight D. They're still down eight. Pulls the trigger. The three-pointer knocked down by Hernandez. They're now out in front by six. 254 in the first half. The crossover. Number 42 is having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence, but it's hard to see how it wouldn't. Catches it. Right wing. Laid up and in by Johnson. Johnson. They close the gap to four. It looks like they're playing man to man. Last ray off the mark by Hernandez. McKnight brings it up court. They'll give him that one every day of the week. Way out of his range. It's blocked. It's deflected. And it's gathered up by Proctor. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep. And then capitalize. Stolen by Daniel. Johnson inbounds the ball. Knocks it loose. And it's scooped up by Daniel. Slams home a huge dunk. They extend the lead to eight. Gathered up by Hernandez. Daniel crosses it up. Misses the three-pointer. But they still lead by eight. McKnight passes to the perimeter. The last three-pointer was missed by Barbosa. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. These people aren't loving it. You think it's getting hot in here or what? The spin move. Baseline. Goes up. Couldn't get the shot, but he was fouled and gets a trip to the line. That's his first personal foul. And he makes the first. Substitution. He didn't sit for long. He's coming back into the ball game. He gets the second to fall as well. Hernandez hasn't had a good game so far, and he's going to sit down for a while. Chaplin puts it up. Johnson snatches it down. Great rebound. He went after that one. Hands it up. Skips it to the right wing. Hodger tries the spin move. Phenomenal hops help him get a lot of shots. He also has great instincts. A nose for the ball. And a feel for meeting the shooter's release point. Johnson inbounds the ball. 36 seconds left from the first half. Barbosa gets it to go. He's fourth for six from beyond the arc. Let's it go. Tried to answer back with a three, but it's missed by Rush. They're still up by five. Look for it, but it's recovered by McKnight. Stolen away by Coleman. It's one on one. Rush has it. Down low. Rush. Last shot laid gently in. First half comes to an end with the score 73 to 66. What do you think of the first half? We don't see some improvement soon. This could be even further out of reach. They need to make some adjustments. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick? Daniels is putting on a show for him. If you like offensive fireworks, then you must have had a lot of fun watching this guy in the first half.